So when you want to know your gift and the ultimate things you were, you were supposed to be doing in life, look for the areas of your interest. Your giftings are in the areas of your interest. Yeah. So you must understand that if, if you're working in a company or you're working or you're doing a business and every day you keep complaining and keep crying about that business, it's not in the area of your interest. Do something about it. Look for another job. Look for a better job. Or look for another business and try something else. Because if every day you complain about it, it's not in the area of your interest. But if the job you're doing excites you, sometimes you don't remember the hours you have spent. Rather, you want to spend more hours. Then which means you are succeeding in that area. That is the area of your interest. You must realize this fact that the greatness, the riches, and everything you desire in life is all invested in you. Now, we must understand that your riches is not invested in any place in this world. It's invested in you. So wherever you are in this world, you can turn that place and that opportunity into riches. Whatever place you are of work or job or career or business, you can turn it into your blessings. You can turn it into a place of abundance. You can turn it to a, a financial supply, a place of financial supply or a place of financial increase, depending on how you use what has been invested in you by God. So your greatness, your, your financial achievements are all invested in you. You need to discover yourself. That is why the place of your interest is very important because you must understand that your place of interest is the only place in life that you can sow seed and keep working and keep working and you will never get tired. When you meet me in the place of my interest, I don't think of the hours. I think about how much more I should progress.